you know, but my personal goal is to be one of the greatest of all time, and, and that's what keeps me motivated. When you want to be a great, you want to continue to win and win and win, and that's what, that's what drives you. I think it's just my determination to get better every day. Even if how good you are, you should go out there and play like it's your last night. Play it's like your last second of the game. Play it's like your last second of practice. And I might be good right now, but there's somebody out there working hard as I am, trying to get better than LeBron, because they see I'm number one. So they want to be number one. I had kind of prepared myself because I had fell in love with the game at such a younger age than 18. At, you know, when I was three or four, five, six, I always had visions of being, you know, on the biggest stage. The reason I think that all, a lot of the nation knows me is because my determination shows off on the court. And that's all I look for in myself. Well, right now, as a 16-year-old, what's your long-term goal? To get to the NBA. Do you want to be the best? Yeah. For me, it could be compared to Michael, Magic, you know, Kobe, all the ones that's making so success in the league. You know, it's great. And I'm going to just keep working hard. And someday, it could be another one that could be compared to me. Can you deliver an NBA title to Cleveland? I'm going to just try to get my team better every day. I can't promise the NBA championship to no one, you know, but I can make sure that my teammates will get better every day. I'm real critical of myself. Um, I believe I can't improve unless I want to improve. And ultimately, I want to become the greatest basketball player or the best player LeBron James can be. Uh, when you compare to, to other great players, I can't do nothing but smile, for one, because to even be even in the same breath as Michael Jordan, Oscar Robertson, Magic Johnson, uh, guys like that, you only can, you can do nothing but smile. But then again, I don't want to, you know, control. I'm controlling my destiny. I want, when I be done, I don't want people to say, well, he ended up the same way as this person or this player. I want people to say that LeBron James did it his way. And now he's a legend. You know, but my personal goal is to be one of the greatest of all time, and, and that's what keeps me motivated. I've always prided myself on saying, I want to be the greatest ever play this game. And that came from a motivation to myself, and I drive to be the greatest of all time. Yeah. But I want to maximize what I can do, and uh, if I can be in a situation where I'm even uh, talked about as the best basketball player ever. You ready for that challenge? Oh, absolutely. I'm going um, to accept all challenges with open arms and, uh, you know, try to embrace them. I accept the challenge every night. Every night I go on the basketball court. In everyday life, I, I, I accept the challenge. You are chasing the yeah. ghost of this guy who played in Chicago. Yeah. What did you mean? I meant in the simple fact that, um, that's my personal inspiration. That's what drives me. And um, you want six rings, or you chase it no, that specific? No, what that, are we talking it's, about it's, here? It's, I'm chasing that greatness, that how great that that ghost was. You know, everyone automatically kind of like, oh, he's trying to be, you know, he's talking down on MJ, he's trying to be better than MJ. What actually is he talking about? That's always been my goal since I got in the NBA. When I was 18 years old, I told everyone that my favorite player was Michael Jordan. Hopefully, I can get to that point. I think if you're not out there trying to win every night, there's no reason you should be out there. Even if you might be the sorriest team in America, or you might not have all the athletes that you need. When you want to be a great, and you want to be the greatest, you want to continue to win and win and win, and that's what that's what drives you. And then personally, I hold myself up to a standard higher than anyone, so that keeps me going as well. I've been trained and born to win, and I feel like if you just go out there and win, lose, or draw, if you give it 110% and play hard. That's all you can look for in the coaching as a player. Every game means something. Uh, you can't afford to, to, to slip up on the game or, or not get better. I always tell my team, hey, you know, guys, let's get better every day. They double, let's knock them down. Don't think twice about shooting that outside shot. There may be games where you got better that night, but that team maybe got better just a little bit more and won the game. Now, I could be satisfied with that, but I can't be satisfied with our team not getting better and losing the ball game. I think at the end of the day, listen, if you want to get better at your craft, you'll get better. Well, you know, it's all about just getting better every day. You know, of course, you know, defensive wise and getting your jump shot better to a perfection. But it's just getting better every day for our team and for myself. My rookie year, we have practice. I go home, take a nap. I go back to the gym at five, go eat dinner. And sometimes I go again before I go to bed. For no reason. I just wanted to be great. You know, I work on my game. I work on my craft. You guys see me when you come to practice and, you know, I'm working on you know, my game or before the games or off days, I'm just always like trying to see ways I can continue to just stay in, in great rhythm and see ways I can continue to get better 
even at my age, I'm just not a guy that's satisfied. You're not going to get any better if you don't play hard. And you're not going to get any better if you're not trying to win every time. So when you're out there, you're just kind of trying to compete, and trying to win every time you're out there. Just play as hard as you can. If you're going up against me, you're trying to bust me up. Because I'm going to come at you the same way, you know? I just never put a ceiling on my potential. I've always um, you know, wanted to get, continue to get better and better and better. And uh, when you're younger, um, you're, you're learning. And, and your game is not where it, it, it can be or should be. And that's okay because, you know, if you want to be great, like if you want to be um, you know, great at what you do, then it takes time. Uh, the best teacher in life is experience. And I think over the course of my career, uh, I've evolved into where um, I, I do what I want to do um, on the floor. I take the shot that I want to take. Um, uh, I'm able to use my ability to read coverages because I've seen them all um, for the betterment of not only myself, but for more importantly, for my teammates to succeed. It goes a lot more with what I've been able to see over the course of the game. And, you know, the feel that I've had on the floor and to see how defense have played it over and over and over. I know how to be able to react to that and be able to throw something at them where they won't recognize what hit them. You know, a lot, of, a lot of people don't see what I do, but I, I mean, I get to the arena five hours before the game and start prepping, you know, both mentally, physically, spiritually, everything. So when I get on the floor, I just just let it go. Well, at the end of the day, I got I got enough and as long as my body tell me. Now, the body is going to tell you how much you got in the tank. Right. My mind is strong. So as long as my mind and, and my body is in tune with one another, it's like a chain. You know, once one break off, then, you know, I got to start thinking about what's next. 14 days, 13 days, whatever the hell it is, don't mean nothing. Tired is only in the mind. You tell yourself you're tired, you're gonna be tired. I don't get tired. Exactly. Yeah, you're tired, but that's the last thing you're telling you yourself, though, is I'm tired. you tired, but you ain't gonna never tell yourself they tired. Mm -hmm. you tired now. And you might even bend over and hold your knees, but you would never in your mind let it creep into your mind like, yo, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna let it, you ain't gonna let yourself do it. Without faith and without belief, then, you know, you, you, you kind of lose it up here. And that's the, once you lose it up here, this is the mainframe. This is, this is, everything works around here. Once I started to not only build the physical side, which I pretty much knew how to do, but also elevate the mental side of it, not only just like, I don't want to say the mental side of the game, but the mental side of the approach, the physical fitness of the, of the mind and how to, um, have the mind as strong no matter what's going on, no matter the, the circumstances, no matter the scrutiny, no matter the adversity, to always kind of be even killed. Um, I think that's what it uh, kind of changed for me. When you think back to your early playoff days, early conference finals, the finals against the Spurs that you played, what's the difference between LeBron James and what you knew then versus now? Uh, I'm just a smarter, more seasoned uh, basketball player, more veteran. I, I mean, I've been in it so many times that, um, you know, I kind of know what to expect. And uh, for me, at, at a younger age, I was never even killed. You know, I, I would win a playoff game when I was younger. I was excited out of my mind, and then you would lose, and I was the worst person in the world. And, uh, but I think at this point in, in my career, I kind of stay even and, and understanding, you know, that one game doesn't shouldn't affect the next game. Um, for me, I'm all about the process. Um, you know, and I'm here for one goal and one goal only. And that's to win a championship. That's to get better every single day. And that's my mindset. What I've been able to do this whole season to this point is just worry about what's at hand. And that's winning the championship. Winning makes you want it more. And when you have a goal um, and you're able to accomplish that goal, it actually, for me personally, it made me even more hungry to continue to try to win championships, and I still want to be in championship mode, and I think I, I've showed this year why I will still continue to be in championship mode. Winning doesn't satisfy you. Even when you left everything out there, you still feel like you have more to give. I'm never pleased. Uh, I can never be pleased until the end result, um, and, I'm, and I'm never satisfied. Personally, thinking I have something to prove fuels me. No matter what I've done in my career to this point, there's still a little rumblings of doubt or comparing me to, you know, the history of the game and um, has he done this, has he done that? I've been at the top for a long time and uh, and I plan on being here for, for a long time as well. You know, and it's part of my drive, it's part of my hunger. When you get to this position, I feel like I'm the best. 
Uh, that's just how I feel about my game, how I feel about my knowledge, my, my, my IQ of the game. And you don't, you really don't want to go down. You know? I love competing. I love winning. I love just like playing the game. Because I, I mean, I know at some point I ain't going to be able to play it no more. Well, at that level. Yeah. So, shit, why not? Like, I'm trying to squeeze as much juice out of this motherfucking orange as I can.